first Baron Tweedsmuir was a popular Governor General of Canada in 1935 to 1940. Bailey with caption, Olympian Marjorie Turner Bailey of Nova Scotia is a descendant of black loyalists, escaped slaves, and freed men and women of African origin who in the 1780s fled to Canada from America, where slavery remained legal until 1863. John Cabot, an Italian immigrant to England, was the first to map Canada's Atlantic shore setting foot on Newfoundland or Cape Breton Island in 1497 and claiming the new found land for England. English settlement did not begin until 1610. Jacques Cartier made three voyages across the Atlantic, claiming the land for King Francis I of France. Cartier heard two captured guides speak the Iroquoian word anata, meaning village. By the 1550s, the name of Canada began appearing on maps. In 1604, the first European settlement north of Florida was established by French explorers Pierre de Mont and Samuel de Champlain. Outstanding leaders like Jean Talon, Bishop Laval, and Count Frontenac built a French empire in North America that reached from Hudson Bay to the Gulf of Mexico led by Lieutenant Governor John Graves Simcoe, a loyalist military officer, became the first province in the empire to move toward abolition. In 1807, the British Parliament prohibited the buying and selling of slaves, and in 1833 abolished slavery throughout the empire. Marianne Shad Carey was an outspoken activist in the movement to abolish slavery in the USA. In 1853, she became the first woman publisher in Canada. In 1813, Laura Secord, pioneer wife and mother of five children, made a dangerous 19-mile or 30-kilometer journey on foot to warn Lieutenant James Fitzgibbon of a planned American attack. Her bravery contributed to victory at the Battle of Beaver Dams. She is recognized as a heroine to this day. Sir Etienne Machal Taché and Sir George Etienne Cartier later became fathers of Confederation, as did a former member of the Voluntary Government Militia in Upper Canada, Sir John A. Macdonald, such as Sir Louis Hippolyte Lafontaine and Robert Baldwin, in parallel with Joseph Howe in Nova Scotia, worked with British governors toward responsible government. Sir Louis Hippolyte Lafontaine a champion of French language rights, became the first head of a responsible government similar to a prime minister in Canada in 1849. Sir Leonard Tilley, an elected official and father of Confederation from New Brunswick, suggested the term Dominion of Canada in 1864. He was inspired by Psalm 72 in the Bible, which refers to dominion from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Seven, Sir John Alexander Macdonald, a father of Confederation, became Canada's first Prime Minister. Parliament has recognized January the 11th as Sir John A. Macdonald Day. His portrait is on the $10 bill. Sir George Etienne Cartier was the key architect of Confederation from Quebec. A railway lawyer, Montrealer, close ally of Macdonald and patriotic Canadien, Cartier led Quebec into Confederation and helped negotiate the entry of the Northwest Territories, Manitoba, and British Columbia into Canada. In response, Louis Riel led an armed uprising and seized Fort Garry, the territorial capital. Riel is seen by many as a hero, a defender of Métis rights, and the father of Manitoba. Image of Sir Sam Steele as a great frontier hero, mounted policeman, and soldier of the Queen. Gabriel Dumont was the Métis' greatest military leader. This symbol of unity was completed when Donald Smith, Lord Strathcona, 
the Scottish-born director of the Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR, drove the last spike. Sir Wilfrid Laurier became the first French-Canadian Prime Minister since Confederation and encouraged immigration to the West. His portrait is on the $5 bill. ...under the command of General Sir Arthur Currie, Canada's greatest soldier. The Canadian Corps advanced alongside the French and British Empire troops in the last hundred days. These included the victorious Battle of Amiens, 21, Agnes MacPhail, a farmer and teacher, became the first woman MP. The effort by women to achieve the right to vote is known as the women's suffrage movement. Its founder in Canada was Dr. Emily Stowe, the first Canadian woman to practice medicine in Canada. In 1916, Manitoba became the first province to grant voting rights to women. Canadian Medical Officer Lieutenant Colonel John McRae composed the poem in Flanders Fields in 1915. It is often recited on Remembrance Day. Caption Image of Phil Edwards with caption Phil Edwards was a Canadian track and field champion. Born in British Guyana, he won bronze medals for Canada in the 1928, 1932, and 1936 Olympics, then graduated from McGill University Medical School. He served as a captain in the Canadian Army during the Second World War, and as a Montreal doctor, became an expert in tropical diseases. Olympic medal winners. Basketball was invented by Canadian James Naismith in 1891. In 1996, at the Olympic Summer Games, Donovan Bailey became a world record sprinter and double Olympic gold medalist. Gold medalist. Chantal Petitclerc became a world champion wheelchair racer and Paralympic gold medalist and Paralympic gold medalist. One of the greatest hockey players of all time, Wayne Gretzky, played for the Edmonton Oilers from 1979 to 1988. 88. In 1980, Terry Fox, a British Columbian who lost his right leg to cancer at the age of 18, began a cross-country run, the Marathon of Hope, to raise money for cancer research raising events in his name. In 1985, fellow British Columbian Rick Hansen circled the globe in a wheelchair to raise funds for spinal cord research. Image of Mark Tewksbury with caption, Mark Tewksbury, Olympic gold medalist and prominent activist for gay and lesbian Canadians. Paul Henderson with caption, in 1972, Paul Henderson scored the winning goal for Canada in the Canada-Soviet Summit Series. This goal is often referred to as the goal heard around the world. With caption, Catriona LeMay Doan carries the flag after winning a gold medal in speed skating at the 2002 Olympic Winter Games. Most famous are listed below. Alexander Graham Bell hit on the idea of the telephone at his summer house in Canada. Canada. Joseph Armand Bombardier invented the snowmobile, a lightweight winter vehicle. Sir Sanford Fleming invented the worldwide system of standard time zones. Matthew Evans and Henry Woodward together invented the first electric light bulb and later sold the patent to Thomas Edison, who more famously commercialized the light bulb. Reginald Fessenden contributed to the invention of radio, sending the first wireless voice message in the world. world. Dr. Wilder Penfield was a pioneering brain surgeon at McGill University in Montreal and was known as the greatest living Canadian. In Canadian. 
Dr. John A. Hobbs invented the first cardiac pacemaker used today to save the lives of people with heart disorders. SPAR Aerospace and the National Research Council invented the Canadarm, a robotic arm used in outer space. Mike Lazaratis and Jim Balsillie of Research in Motion, a wireless communications company known for its most famous invention, the BlackBerry. Then Lieutenant Alexander Roberts Dunn, born in present-day Toronto, served in the British Army in the charge of the Light Brigade at Balaclava, 1854, in the Crimean War, and was the first Canadian to be awarded the Victoria Cross. Able seaman William Hall of Horton, Nova Scotia, whose parents were American slaves, was the first black man to be awarded the VC for his role in the Siege of Lucknow during the Indian Rebellion of 1857. Corporal Philip Konowal, born in Ukraine, showed exceptional courage in the Battle of Hill 70 in 1917 and became the first member of the Canadian Corps not born in the British Empire to be awarded the VC. Flying Ace Captain Billy Bishop, born in Owen Sound, Ontario, earned the VC in the Royal Flying Corps during the First World War and was later an honorary air marshal of the Royal Canadian Air Force. Force. Captain Paul Triquet of Cabano, Quebec, earned the VC leading his men and a handful of tanks in the attack on Casa Berardi in Italy in 1943 during the Second World War and was later a brigadier. Lieutenant Robert Hampton Gray, a Navy pilot born in Trail, BC, was killed while bombing and sinking a Japanese warship in August 1945, a few days before the end of the Second World War, and was the last Canadian to receive the VC to date. Canada. It is named in honor of Sir William Logie, a world-famous geologist born in Montreal in 1798 to Scottish immigrant parents. Logan founded and directed the Geological Survey of Canada from 1842 to 1869 and is considered one of Canada's greatest scientists.